Hey everyone, CyberCDA here. Hope you're doing really good. Today we are going to take a look at why email systems broke in the year 2022. You remember that so-called millennium bug that had businesses and people who own computers going crazy right at the end of 1999. The one that was meant to bring the world of computing to its knees but never really quite had the impact that we thought. Well, there's been another one caused by the year 2022. Who knew we would have the similar problems as 22 years ago? You may not have heard of this though as it was a little less publicized and it's been cutely named Y2K22. You can see what they did there, right? So as the year 2022 rolled in and the clock struck midnight, Microsoft email exchange administrators worldwide discovered that their servers were no longer delivering email. After investigating, they found that email was being stuck in a queue and the Windows event logs showed this particular error. And the error was caused by Microsoft Exchange checking the version of the antivirus scanning engine and attempting to store the date in a signed 32-bit integer variable. Due to this, when Microsoft Exchange attempts to check the AV scanning version, it would generate a bug and cause the malware engine to crash. This meant that organizations running affected versions of Microsoft Exchange were unable to receive email email, which is pretty crazy in this day and age. As I say, the antivirus scanning engine was attempting to store the current date in a signed 32-bit integer variable, also known as a long. The integer it was trying to store that I'm talking about is this one here, and is actually the date in the format year, month, day, hour, minute. The error says the application can't convert this date represented as an integer to a long. So let's first talk about what a long is, and we'll see why this problem came about. So a long is a signed integer and we'll cover what we mean by this shortly it's made up of 32 bits and 32 bits is the same as four bytes of eight bits and we can represent these binary bits like this so a full 32 bits can make a pretty large number it can of course be all zeros or if each of the 32 bits is set to one, then we will see that the full possible range of values in each byte is the integer zero through to 255. So zero to 255 gives us a total of 256 possible values, starting at zero, counting to 255 gives you 256. Multiplying 256 together four times, because there are four bytes in 32 bits, that gives us 4,294,960. 67,296, which is a big number, and that's the maximum number of values that can be represented by 32 bits. We can say then that a long int has two to the power of 32 possible values, i.e. there are 32 bits each with two possible values, a zero or a one. But wait, a long integer, as I mentioned earlier, is actually signed. This sign means that we can represent both positive and negative values. Of course, if we're representing a signed value, the computer itself needs to know if it's positive or negative. It needs to know the sign. And this is achieved by taking the most significant bit, which is the leftmost bit in this case, and using that as like a flag to determine if the rest of the bytes should be treated as positive or negative. If the sign bit is zero, the number is positive or zero. If the sign bit is one, like we see on the screen at the moment, then the number itself is going to be negative. Therefore, if you look at our long integer, if all the bits are set to one, then this will be a negative number because the sign bit is one. And that gives us 31 other bits to play with, each with two possible values, a zero or a one. Therefore, the minimum value of a long integer is minus 2 to the power 31, which is minus 2,147,483,648. Still a pretty weird and wonderful number, but with a sign in front of it. The maximum number of positive values, including zero, is the same number, just with the sign bit flipped to zero. Note the use of my language here, though. The maximum number of positive values is 2,147,483,648. Eight, because we have to account for the number zero. The biggest number in this range is therefore this number minus one, because we have to account for zero, obviously. 
Therefore, the positive range of values is 0 to 21474836477, and the full range from the negative value through to the positive is shown here below. Well, why am I telling you this? Well, let's go back to the original error message. The error stated that the application couldn't convert this particular number to a long integer type. So let's take a look at what happened the day before all of this issue occurred. So i.e. in the year 2021, December 31st at 23.59, the world was well. You can see that this date, when represented as a long integer, is less than the upper bound of 2.147 billion. No issues here. Emails were flowing nicely through Microsoft's Exchange email systems. So what's the issue? Well, in 2022, on January January 1st at one minute past midnight. Well, you get the picture. The date when represented as a long is higher than the upper bound of a long integer type. There simply aren't enough bits in a long integer to represent a signed number higher than 2.147 billion. When 1st of Jan 2022 came rolling around, an issue known as integer overflow occurred and elements of Microsoft Exchange system started to crash, therefore preventing emails from being delivered. Now you know what happened and maybe why you didn't receive your new year's email this year i'm colin hardy many thanks for joining me here today you can find me on twitter at cybercdh and of course here on youtube i'd love it if you like and subscribe to this channel hit that notification button as well so you don't miss any of my malware threat intelligence and cybersecurity videos and you can also find me on patreon where there are three options to support my channel from as little as one great british pound per month thank you everybody keep safe and i'll speak to you again soon